Good evening, uh, Mr. Almonger. It is, in fact, a good evening because in front of us yes. is what we will soon hopefully find to be a very good thing. I, I hope so. I hope so. What do we got here? We appear to have um, a fine Indian gin. Well, we don't know if it's fine yet. We're going to find that out. The name of this product is Jessalmer. Is that that I pronounced that correctly? I'm going to go with the Jessalmer. Jessalmer? Jessalmer? All right. Well, whatever it is. Anyway, it is an Indian craft gin. Would you like me to read a little bit about it? Please. I'm intrigued. I'm a sponge. You're a sponge? I'm a sponge. You're going to take it all in? Uh, every bit. All right. Here we go. The distillation and botanicals of Jessalmer Indian craft gin. Jessalmer Indian craft gin is triple distilled spirit. Uh, handcrafted in traditional copper pot stills in small batches by master distiller Anup Barik at Rampur Distillery, one of India's oldest distilleries, located in the foothills of the Himalayas. Ah. The Himalayas. Those are big those mountains. Are, so that, what that's we, a tough hike right there. So what we need for this trip, for this tasting, we need some crampons, we, we need some rope. And? A couple Sherpas. At least. At least. And you know what? I could have used one with all the gear I had that lug over here. The Studio B. I'll tell you, man, this road show is tough. We, well, we can hook you up with one of those uh, one of those oxygen tanks. If nice. You feel how. I can do some oxygen. So anyway, Foothills of the Himalayas. The use of botanicals is a time-honored tradition in India, and Jessamir Jin's recipe is, deserve, is derived from the ancient Indian knowledge of herbs. Seven of the 11 botanicals used in the, in the distillation come from India. The master distiller has selected coriander and vetiver, a complex spice with intriguing peppery notes, as uh, are grown in the fields around Jessamir, Jessamir itself. Sweet orange peel from central India, which complements the citrus and floral tones of the gin. Tobeb berries and lemongrass from southern India. Darjeeling green tea leaves from eastern India. We got more here. And there's more. There's a second page. And lemon peel from western India. Older but other botanicals include angelica root, licorice, and caraway seeds, which lend a spicy, slightly anise tinged flavor to the gin. The master distiller wanted to retain the classic gin flavor using juniper berries while adding a refreshing twist with Indian botanicals. He describes Jessalmir gin and tonic as an oasis in the desert and a drink fit for royalty. I'm feeling royal. Well, I'm not going to waste any time here. I'm going to pop the top on this bad boy, which I have never opened. I took the plastic off. Just so, so there's a hole at the top of the bottle similar to the hole one might find yes. in the top of a non-Indian bottle of gin. Yes. That's Are you getting it? Indeed. I'm getting it. I'm getting it already. Vertivir. 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 Glug, glug, glug. That's good. That's a good sign. Glug, glugs are good. You know what that means? It's liquid. Alright. I figure we'll try it straight. And then I brought a couple of different um, tonics. And we'll try them in a gin and tonic afterwards. And sounds I'm like, it sounds like a, a finely... Um, and scientific experiment. Ah, I'm all about the science, as you have taught me well. Shall we? On camera. Cheers. Salut. Salut. All right, let's go in for a little nosing. Oh. Ooh, Ooh it's right. It smells citrusy, doesn't it? I think. It smells fre very fresh. Very fragrant. You know, all that stuff they mentioned. I mean, I'm, uh, the licorice kind of has a pretty big... Sure. And the pretty. junipers. So there's pretty class... Uh, Pretty classic gin aroma, but... Yeah, but, but less medicinal little, smelling. Yeah. Do, do you know what I mean? But Yeah, I like the smell on this. It smells really good. That's, that's good. You're going in for a taste? Mm -hmm. You went in. Okay. Wow. Orange all over the place. Right? It just... There is a lot of citrus. A lot of citrus. A lot of fresh orange right up front. At least that's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. It is. There's a lot of zest. Then, then, then I'm starting to get a little bit of the licorice and the anise. You know, a little bit more of that stuff. I don't know what vetiver tastes like or any of that stuff, so I couldn't tell you. Apparently it tastes like this. Maybe. Did you get the dart? Did they say Darjeeling? I think they mentioned some dar Darjeeling. Yeah, not, I was not, it original? I've not picked that up yet, nor no. the lemongrass. No. But I get a lot of citrus and I get a lot of anise and, of course, the juniper. But the juniper is very, very downplayed. It's not like a typical London dry gin. True. Which is very, 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 very juniper forward. True. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Um, it is, a, it is a more balanced flavor than I was anticipating. It's, it's, it's summery. 
you know? Yeah. Like it, that, it has, it, that big, bold citrus punch. Mm -hmm. This one has more character. It's got a little bit of... Um, more sweetness than... Uh, there's a, it's a little oily, oil. too, in the mouthfeel. Just to kind of let it sit for a little while. It's got a little bit of a touch of oiliness. Mm. It does. It does. It's not particularly peppery. It's not super hot. But yeah, the citrus... No, and, not at all. I would say it would go... If, if you're going to start with the citrus, then maybe the anise and the licorice, and then, you know, the juniper kind of comes in, like, third. And then whatever else there is. But this is nice. I like this. I think a person that really likes a London dry gin that's really juniper heavy might not yeah, like would this. Not right. Would be would be put off a little bit. You know. Although um, I do tend to gravitate more towards those. Mm. Um, well, they're good for mixing. But I find this very refreshing. This is nice. This is very nice. I like it a lot. Um, so I like it on its own. Should we move on to uh, the second half and try this with the tonics? Absolutely. Absolutely, because okay. that's exactly what VJ Armitage drinks. Does he? After a match. Nice. Yep. Nice. Knocks a few back at Wimbledon. But anyway, all right. I like this. Good. That's I like good. it. I, I don't really know gins that well, so I couldn't really... I, I don't think it's fair of me to give it a score. But if I was going to give it a score, I would I would go like high 80s. I was admit. Maybe, maybe even maybe as high as a 90, 91. It's that, just, it's very approachable. Very high price. I think it's it's very approachable. I think it's easy drinking on its own. Now the question is, how's it going to hold up in a gin and tonic? Exactly. So um, let's cut here and we'll, we'll bring out the tonics. All right, we're back. So what we have here again is the Jessamel, Jessalmer Indian Gin. And we've got two different tonics, both by Fever Tree. So we've got the premium Indian tonic water. I've got the fever. You got the fever? You got the fever for the fever tree? For your tree. Yeah! <laughs> uh, anyway, what was I saying? You threw me off, man. It's, it's Boss, what you do. Boss does that when you, uh, when, you, when you reference Little Springsteen. I understand. I understand. We are in New Jersey. We got, uh, that's right. How do you we got the it? fever. Right. No, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. So, again, we've got two fever trees, and he has the fever for the fever tree. We have a premium Indian tonic water, and we have the refreshing light Indian tonic water. So, I have to ask. Yes. Given the fact that we are we are reviewing an, an Indian gin, yes, was the selection of Indian tonic done intentionally? Yes. To parallel, I see. Yes. Okay. Well, done. I figure. Eh, why not? I mean, we could have got a. They Schweppes. are fine tonics, although they this, the 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 light tonic I have not seen. I have not had before. Yeah, I've I've had it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. I tried it with the uh, what was that gin? It was the Wild June Juniper Gin. The Wild June Gin from District Distilling of D.C. That was a really nice combo. And uh, so I'm hoping this pairs well with this because I think it's a light, a light refreshing bubbly to go with a very herbally and citrusy gin. So let's, we're going to find out. Let's make it happen. So we'll take about maybe uh, four cubes, four or five cubes, maybe a little more. I will do a little more. Fair enough. Um, okay, so now we're going to do, we'll bring the glasses forward. Bring the glasses forward here. Let's, let's do that. Bring your, bring your glasses there. What is that a bomb? This is like that. What was that movie? It's a bimba. What was that movie with uh, with Dennis Hopper? With the bomb? That movie with Dennis Hopper? Yeah, was that the uh, oh uh, speed? We had the bomb strapped to his chest. It's like what the hell is going on here? Are we going below sixty miles an hour? The the Dennis the Dennis Hopper movie bomb will continue to go off until one of us turns that timer off. Good God, man! I gotta turn that thing off because it's scaring the crap out of me. Frankly, where's the uh, off button? Start cancel. Yep. Cancel on the, on the bottom. Bottom cancel. Bottom right. Oh! I diffused the bomb. You are... No, I didn't. Now hit the timer button. Hit the timer button. Third button, top right. Third button, top Let's right. Say timer. Third button, it's top spelled right. with a T. There's an I after oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, thank you. That's very pretty, by the way. All right, so we're going to do the... We'll do the light in the clear glass, and we'll do the not-so-light in the not-so-clear glass. Uh, again, the parallels are frighteningly crisp. I'll we'll go up to... Where do I go? What about there? Is this one going to be fizzier? Is this one gonna... Sounds fizzier. It sounds fizzier. It sounds gassier. God knows I know from gas. You know what I'm saying? Ready, ready. Fizzy, fizzy. Fizzy, fizzy. Now, that's a far more careful pour. Well, you know. Careful or not, the fizz factor was significantly higher. I got 3,042 bubbles. 
Take your glass, son. Where are we go first? Clear? Right. Well, uh, you can do a little side by side. I'm so gonna we, go. We can do light first. Yeah, you gotta go light the heavy, right? Light, yeah. yeah, you always gotta light the heavy. Light, light the heavy. It's like a beer taste. Oh, here's that pretty glass, right? How beautiful that is. How beautiful is that? Where's this glass from? Morocco. Fancy. We are fancy. All right, we'll go light the dark. Light the dark. Salute it is. on camera. Cheers. Chenton. Salute. Mazel tov. Chaim. Chaim. There you go. Very light, very refreshing. The gin almost disappears. And I put a good bit. I don't think I skimped on the gin. No, I think I think proportion is good. So, yeah, interesting in that the, that big orange punch from from the gin neat is entirely absent here. Yeah, it's not. Now, I don't know if it's the cold that takes that away. Or the, or the lime masking it. Maybe. I, I think it's the fact that we just added about the three ounces of tonic to one and a half ounces or two ounces of gin. I'm sure that does something. And it's a, it's a lighter tonic, so I'm curious to see if there is going to be actually any contrast between the two. But it's a very light, refreshing, refreshing drink. It is. I mean, it's certainly not one I would turn down. Steamy summer on the patio. It's not very heavy juniper either. All right, I'm ready to... Yeah, we'll try the second one. Let's, let's go here with the... Let's go. Oh, the so classic... This is just the premium Indian tonic water. It's a little sweeter. And, sweeter. and I guess it has more sugar also. Right. The sweeter, it's more balanced. I'm saying this one, 95 degree summer day. This one, I think for a cooler day, perhaps. I think this, I think this one pretty, more, pretty much works anywhere where oxygen is consumed by the lungs. How about, how about a, a, the top of Mount Everest? Ah, 30, a, reference, a reference to the... The to Himalayas? The feet, the, to the feet of the foot of the Himalayas. The foothills of the Himalayas. How do you think it would be at 30,000 feet? I'm thinking, I think it would make that descent a little bit more treacherous. Uh, it's already treacherous enough. I think it's already treacherous enough. So, both, both very um, tasty drinks. This one has a bit more of a punch. Not in a bad way, but I think it's just, I think it is the sweetness makes a difference. Yep. I mean, calorie-wise, that one is how many calories per serving? 36. Yeah, this one's 90. So, and I guess the, the differentiating factor would be the sugar. Sugar content. Yeah. yeah. I think everything else is... I don't know. I can't really, I don't have my damn cheaters, so I can't tell what the sugar is on this. This my, one is... I have my uh, permanent cheaters. What is this one? Six, how many grams of sugar? Total sugars in this one is seven grams. How about this one? That would... That would be 19.2. That's, yeah, that's pretty significant. Yeah. And interestingly, well, it says about three times the sugar, roughly. About two and a half. And it's two and a half times the calories. Imagine that. So, so what we're saying is you like the sweeter drink. Hard to, hard not to. No, it's very good. They're both very good. I, I can't say which one's So, better. but, but in trying to, you know, trying to differentiate the, the flavor profile of the gin, with each tonic is a little more challenging. Yeah, this is definitely a little This is almost as if you took like a club soda and put a splash of tonic in it. Agreed. This is definitely more, but it doesn't have that bite of like a Schweppes or a Canada Dry Tonic. It, I think it's a lot crisper and cleaner than those. The Fever Tree, oh, I mean. no question about it, and drier, very, yeah, very it's, dry. It's really, it's a really nice, they make a nice soda. This is probably the bolder drink. Definitely the bolder drink with the with the higher sugar content tonic. See, absolutely. Not saying it is. A I'm bold not drink. sure. I I, I'm, I might I might be leaning towards the lighter one in preference though. But given the fact that I've had an, an interesting diet experience over the last 53 days, this one fits in more with my obese copyright obese patent pending. diet. Going back to this, um, I like them both. I like them both. I like. Uh, I'm I'm going to. I'm You're going lighter. One. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. I think it's just a question of what I want at a given time. You know, I think this is more the lighter, more, this is more of an easy drinking drink. Very easy and dangerously so. Yes. This is a, it's hot, it's summer. Because uh -huh. assuming, assuming, assuming you get all the proportions right, the ABV is going to be the same regardless. And, and these ones, these ones would go down, mm -hmm. you can knock them down two at a time and just keep going. Right? You don't. I'm killing this bad boy. Right. And this one's Whereas not far this, behind. Which tastes, which tastes excellent as well. But it's a little slower. You drink. want to take your time with it a little mm -hmm. more. 
So anyhow, I, I can't. I don't think we can go wrong with any of this. And and let, so let's get back to the the, 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 the star yes. of the show. I think it holds up pretty well. It holds up well. Um, it the flavor profile neat was definitely unique. Never yes. tasted a gin quite like it, and 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 enjoyed it. In the gin and tonic, I I don't get a tremendous unique. No, I don't, I'm not either. I think it, it may get lost in it a little bit, to a degree, but it doesn't make it a bad drink. Let's wrap this thing up. I'm impressed. It's not, I thought there was possibly this could be a little bit gimmicky or a little bit too far out there. No, not at all. Um, I, 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 found, I found the gym to be unique and tasty. Um, I would gladly have it on the shelf. Um, and uh, I'm you know, happy to have had a uh, chance to try it. All right, cool. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for uh, hosting. Thank you to Colangelo Public Relations for sending us the gin. And uh, that's it. That's all we got. Cheers, folks. <laughs>